in this module we look at mendel's experiment we will see what was mendel's question how he designed his experiment and how he was able to conclude what the conclusions of his experiments so before we get to that let me introduce to you the mendel's subject mendel was working on pea plants these are the garden pea plants these plants are easy to cultivate they have short life span and they have several characteristics and several traits that mendel could follow flowers are the reproductive organs of the uh, of these plants as you know that most flowers have both male and female reproductive organs the ovary is the female sex organ you can see it on your screen the stigma is the part of the flower where the pollen lands and extends the tube pollen is sperm equivalent of the plants anthers are the male sex organs these are attached to stamens which are filamentous structures and anthers produce pollens which can then land on stigma and fertilize the egg inside the ovary so mendel used these plants it was easy to grow them as i mentioned these plants can also be controlled in such a way that if mendel wanted he could remove the male or the female sex organs or he could self pollinate the plant itself the technique mendel used was simple he used a paint brush he rubbed it on the anthers and he collected pollens in the tip of the brush and later he dusted on the stigma of the the female part of the the, the flower as a result the pollens fertilized the egg and resulted in seeds which he could grow and look at uh, the next generation of the cross of the breeding experiment between two types of flowers the first experiment he did involved the shape of the seed mendel noticed that there were two types of seeds a spherical shape and a wrinkled shape he crossed before he began his experiment he wanted to make sure ensure that the plants were true breeding what do i mean by that he self crossed he or crossed a typical plant with a typical trait a specific trait with a plant of the same trait with the same specific trait so for example he crossed plants with spherical seeds with other plants with spherical seeds for several several generations to ensure that now the plant has true breeding it the trait it carries is now completely spherical he did he did the same exercise with the plants that had wrinkle seed to ensure that these were also true breeding plants which produced wrinkled seeds then he cross pollinated a plant that was making was going to produce spherical seed with a plant that was going to produce wrinkled seed so these plants were the parental plants which were true breed breeding he, they, and they donated donated parental plants or p abbreviated p he mendel got the first generation he got the result of his experiment produced all spherical seeds now if the blending concept was correct all these seeds would be semi wrinkled and semi spherical it was as the wrinkled seed trait had completely disappeared because none of these plants of f1 gen generation which stands for first filial generation they had any wrinkled seeds so here we could see the blending theory was incorrect because blending theory would have predicted that the offspring would have mixture of characteristics from both the parents next he crossed the f1 generation among themselves and he got the f2 or second filial generation he saw that in the f2 generation the seeds three out of four seeds were spherical and one out of four seeds were wrinkled so what was the what were the conclusions how he used this data to interpret 
the results and how he was able to conclude about make specific conclusions about the the uh, the particulate particulate theory we will look at that in the following uh, following segment <laughs>